Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I have my lineup update. It's just the newest lineup part to my uh, my ongoing updates that I give you guys on my lineup. Because I do get asked to do it a decent amount. I know I, I go over it a lot, but uh, people always want to see uh, YouTubers' lineups, and people ask me. Uh, I know I don't get as many requests as some people, but I do get requests. But the main addition that I made to it uh, is that I just bought literally like two minutes ago was Sean Taylor for 450k, which seemed low for me. Uh, it's the lowest that I've, I think, ever seen it. Maybe I saw it at 400 at one point, but usually it hovers at 480 plus on the Xbox One. So as soon as I saw 450, I wanted to get it. I know I asked in a video previous that uh, whether I wanted to get Randy Moss and Isaac Bruce or that Sean Taylor. But if you look at the price, I won't go off of... I'll go off of the price that uh, it used to be. Uh, and you, this is about right. Well, 460 But it usually is at 480 Somebody will buy that 460 Because there were a bunch of... Four, there were like six 480s up last night. I didn't know if I wanted to get it. And then they all just disappeared. And then the lowest was this one. And then these appeared. This, these two appeared. And now this morning, these two have appeared. But if I go to a wide receiver's... That I wonder if they're as cheap as they were last night, or if they went up. Uh, yeah, Randy Moss is actually he's the 320. The 350 was the cheapest. 320. I'm guessing by the time kids get off of school at 3:30 Eastern time, all the way up to 6:30 Eastern time, because then it's West Coast 3:30. Um, these will go up. That 320 should get bought out here today by, yeah, I'd say, the next hour and a half to two hours. Uh, and then the Isaac Bruce, that's the lowest there was last night. So Isaac Bruce hasn't gone down in price. Uh, but I think my goal is to get Isaac Bruce next, probably, or improve my secondary. I don't know. And then it'll be Randy Moss. Because the only other card that I would want uh, that is, you guys already know, but it's the Michael Vick. There's only actually only one up now for 3.8 million. But I think the only way I'm getting that within the next couple, not couple, but maybe April, April, late April, probably until late April, is if I win a giveaway on Twitter or I get lucky and pull it. Uh, but here is my offensive line that I swear has been the same for, I don't know, three months. Uh, this isn't changed at all. Uh, I want to get uh, the Jamal Charles, the playoff one. He's like 80k. Uh, I think to get all the additions to my team that would constitute me not buying anything more for a while would be like a million coins. So yeah, I got a little work to do. Got to get 978,000 more. Uh, but I did add some new wide receivers since I sold my Keenan Allen. Uh, didn't really like how my receiving core looked. So I went out and bought the playoff AJ Green, who is actually pretty darn good, and the playoff Demarius Thomas. I went out and I decided to get the tall receivers uh, just so I could kind of throw jump balls because most corners in this game are short. So uh, just went out and got the tall ones. Josh Gordon is, is just as tall as Demarius Thomas, and 95 speed's good. Him and Demarius Thomas both have that. Then AJ Green's got the 94, and then Des Bryant is the follow-up, who's 6'2". And so, it was Des Bryant here, and then, like, I had a couple other receivers. Uh, it wasn't Deshaun Jackson, but that was a really pathetic receiving core. So I went out and acquired them. I think AJ Green cost me 40k, Demarius cost me 12. Uh, defensive front, not much has changed, except I... I rebought the Chiefs linebacking core and I got the playoff Tomahali instead of the elite one because he's like 12k. And so bought him back. And then Justin Houston, I think, was 30. Derek Johnson was 30. That wasn't bad. And Terrence Knight, and I think that's new. Um, I only play three down linemen usually at max, so I don't really need this right here. The only reason that I'll up or upgrade it later is just to get the overall higher on the team. And maybe get a player that I like, like Vince Wolfork or something like that. But I gotta make sure that I keep my man D above uh, or at 99. And at this point, it's not. So, yeah, my defensive secondary, which I do take pride in, but it's not the greatest uh, secondary. Okay, 
in the in the game or anything, but I do like my secondary. And there it is, uh, Charles Woodson, all my 99s. I have three 99s on my team, and they're all in my secondary. Devin McCourty, Sean Taylor, and Charles Woodson. The reason I'm playing Sean Taylor at strong safety is because I want Devin McCourty here because he gives the man defense chemistry boost, and he gives plus two to zone, which I don't know if that carries over if you move him out of position. And also, Sean Taylor's a better player than Devin McCourty. Uh... So I wanted Sean Taylor out of position. Uh, awareness does drop when you move a player out of position, but his awareness only dropped by 9, moving him out of position from uh, free safety to strong safety. And his original awareness is 90, so it's not that big of a drop. It's uh, it's okay. I think Devin McCourty's awareness is 90 as well. And I'll go show you guys what his awareness drops do. I didn't even check this, but I bet it's more than... Sean Taylor's. Yeah, oh, it's the same at 81. Uh, so that's my secondary. That's my that's my favorite part of my defense. I picked up Namdi Asamoah and uh, re-picked up Vontae Davis. I got Vontae for like 20k, and then I got Namdi for 40. Uh, so pretty good here. Uh, did that next-gen Casey Hayward, which is on the bench, along with Pat Pete next-gen, and Antonio Cromartie. So my secondary, uh, I'd love to improve it. I'd love to get the Tracy Porter uh, MVP, team MVP um, and just make a Raiders cornerback group. Um, Woodson, Namdi, and Davis. I was hope I'm hoping they make some a DJ Hayden card. I may not start it, but I definitely get it uh, depending on what overall it is. Um, I just I thought they would make a, a next gen version of it, but. They didn't. They made some weird next gens. They made some good ones, but I mean, really, why'd they make the next gen Pat Pete if they they released so many Patrick Peterson cards? I don't really think he needed a next gen, but that's whatever. Uh, specialist got that Marquette King punter, uh, which I played a couple games with him. He is a beast. He punts the ball. Oh my! He he's just a monster punter. He's a lot better than I thought he would. And then I got Janikowski as my kicker. Uh, Janikowski, I mean, I don't kick that many field goals, so he does perfectly fine. Um, I've downgraded all the way to the team of the week, too, Deshaun Jackson, because all he's doing is returning punt and kick, and he's one speed slower, and about he saves me about 20k, so at this point, there's I'm, I'm fine with how I have it. Third down running back, like usual, my closer, Emmett Smith. I like to have the, t since I don't have a featured back like Jamal Charles or getting my Walt Walter Payton or something like that, I like the two-headed monster of Emmett Smith and LeGarrette Blunt because LeGarrette Blunt can come in for the two first two plays, uh, get a little bit tired, and then Emmett comes in and picks up the third down, and then it gives LeGarrette Blunt a little bit of a rest. Because if you run your running backs too much online and stuff like that, if you get like a Patrick Willis hit stick or something like that, you're going to fumble it in the third and fourth quarter because your running backs will just be so tired. Uh, so that's why I kind of like having the, I like having Emmett. And even when I pick somebody up, I'll probably still run Emmett for a drive or something in each game just to make sure that uh, the hit stick on somebody doesn't like totally destroy them. Um, team items, pretty much the same. I haven't done any of those special jersey collections or stadium because frankly, it's I don't feel like paying the price to complete them, and I always just I, I should collect them. But whenever I get those elite collectibles for those collections, I just discard them because they're like 500k, and it's a lot easier than just collecting them. I don't know. This has been my offensive defensive playbook since like day one. Uh, Jim Schwartz, I have an, is that the same Jim Schwartz? I don't even know. Um, and another, I have an Andy Reid, and then I still have this John Fox, which they gave me a stupid version of it. Uh, it was man defense and zone defense when I first, or man defense and long pass when I first got it, which was awesome because those were my chemistries. If you go back and look, <coughs> sorry, if you go back and look, I think those were, those were the chemistries. And it made it really easy to have 99 chemistry with the two that I wanted. But then they jacked it all up and made its own defense and pass rush, which neither of them helped me out. And then the plus two to throw accuracy, that I don't really need that. It's not a big deal. Uh, but I want to get Pat Pete also for my defense. Because if I could get plus two speed, even just in my secondary, 97 speed for Woodson, 96 for Namdi, 
nine or er, ninety seven for Vontae Davis. Uh because these would be my four. I'd put Pat Pete in between Namdi and Woodson and Vontae Davis would play the four. And then McCourty would have ninety seven, I think. Yep, and Sean Taylor would have ninety six. And then press, these two don't matter for press. Uh Woodson would have ninety seven press. Now he would have ninety three press and Vontae Davis would have ninety seven press. It would just be crazy party in the secondary if I could get that uh Patrick Peterson because he already is fast. I don't know if that boost applies to him because his speed I think is already like a night I think it's a ninety nine. Ninety eight. I bet it's ninety eight. So it'd be a hundred speed if the boost applies to him. Uh, it's ninety seven. So it'd be a ninety nine speed. And then he'd have 97 press. I don't know. I'd have a pretty dirty secondary if I can get him. But 300k, as you can see, don't have that right now. But I'm definitely going to work on it. I uh, might play some coin games or something. I still need to upload my video with my rules and whatnot. I'm only looking to play like 20 or 40k coin games. Nothing, nothing like 200k. Because I get so pissed if I lost. So, yeah. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. That's my team. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like my team right now. Uh, I really haven't been satisfied with a team like I am with this one, other than my halfback situation, because I'm kind of sick and tired of those halfbacks I've had forever. And uh, so, yeah, pretty darn happy with my team. My secondary is my favorite part. I'm still debating between buying a corner when I save up my coins or buying Isaac Bruce. I still am debating about that. But uh, let me know what you guys think of my secondary. Uh, I know I could cut these two and it'd be a lot better if I just didn't show those. But all three of my 99s on my team are in my reserves. Or not my reserves, in my secondary. And uh, this is usually asked for, so I'll show you what my active cards are. Uh, for quarterback, I've got Aaron Rodgers, the stupid stars of the week fantasy. I don't even know why I did this. I p pulled packs. I pulled like, I think I pulled like $20 in packs. And I pulled like 50k in coins for packs. And I pulled all the collectibles. And for some reason I did the collection instead of just selling them. And I guess it's fine because then if Vic goes down I have Aaron Rodgers. Which is a pretty gar darn good backup. And then I have Tyrod Taylor. Which is just in case both of these get hurt. Because I did have a game where Vic got hurt. And Rodgers got hurt and went out for a, like three plays. And so I was screwed because I had like my punter out there. So I had to just run the ball. Uh, running backs, LeGarrette Blunt and Emmett Smith, which I'm sucked for forever. Uh, Shane Vereen, Signature, and Lamar Miller, Next Gen. Fullback, Tolbert and Richardson. Wide receivers, Josh Gordon, A.J. Green. Demarius Thomas, Des Bryant, Sean Jackson. The uh, legendary Randy Moss, which I was running as my number one corner. Or my, gosh, I can't even speak. My number one wide out, but then I switched it up, and uh, now he's not even playing. <laughs> Tight ends, next gen, Kyle Rudolph and Antonio Gates. I start Gates because I have had zero problems with him catching the ball. So, yeah, he's just going to be the starter until he proves me long. Sam Baker's my backup. Uh, Pouncey is my backup. Harvey Dahl is my backup. Andre Smith is my backup just for the offensive line in case somebody goes down. Greg Hardy behind Ninkovich. Chandler Jones. William Perry and Terrence Knighton. Justin Houston and Trent Cole. Derek Johnson, Donald Butler, and Jamie Collins. Uh, Tom Bahali in the signature edition, Elvis Doomerville. Cornerbacks, I already went over these. Uh, free safety, Devin McCourty and Sean Taylor. And strong safety, intro roll, and then kicker and punter. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I know this was a really long uh, team update, a 14-minute team update, but... Yeah, I got it all covered, and I will catch you all later. Peace out.